Hey, Phys Ed Summit attendees. This is Adam from the Phys Edagogy team, and I'm creating this tutorial to help you be able to participate on Saturday, May 9th for the 2020 Phys Ed Summit. Before I get started here with our tutorial, I want to give a few shout outs. I want to give a shout out to Shape America because this is National PE and Sport Week. It is also uh, the week that Shape America is announcing our National Teachers of the Year. So congratulations to all our winners that will be announced this week. And it also is Teacher Appreciation Week. So it's a great week that will culminate this Saturday with our 7th Phys Ed Summit, the 2020 Phys Ed Summit. And I would like to take credit as the Phys Edagogy team and the Phys Ed Summit team for being intentional with setting the day of May 9th culminating after all these exciting things happening this week, but I can't. So <laughs> it was just coincidence, but I view it as a good coincidence. So without further ado, I am going to give you this little tutorial on how to participate in UnHangout. UnHangout is the platform that we are using for this year's summit. In the past, if you've participated in Phys Ed Summits, you know we've used a platform called Tazel, which no longer exists with technology the way it is in its ever-evolving state. So we have looked long and hard to find a suitable replacement, and we think we found it with the platform UnHangout. So UnHangout is a open source platform created by the wonderful minds at MIT, and I'm going to kind of walk you through how to use it and what to expect on Saturday. My first piece of advice to you is to make sure that you're using either Chrome as your browser or you're using Firefox as your browser. All of the features of UnHangout are not supported on Safari, they're not supported on Internet Explorer, and they're not supported on mobile devices. So please make sure you're using a laptop or a computer and you are using Chrome or Firefox for the best viewing and the best learning experience on Saturday. Now, on Saturday, when you go to the Phys Edagogy website, you're gonna wanna go to the Phys Ed Summit page. Once you go to the Phys Ed Summit page, all of our information can be found about this year's summit. On the day of the conference, you're going to want to go to the conference program by clicking here. That will open up a new tab that will open up the Phys Ed Summit 2020 Full Conference Program. This program will have all of the sessions listed by time. On the day of the event, you will see a link that will pop up into the Phys Ed Summit Program. That link will take you to the UnHangout Room. Once you click on that, link, it will take you to something that looks a little bit like this. This is what UnHangout calls the lobby. Now there's a couple of things I want to point out as we're in the lobby. There is a chat function right here. So I'm going to type a message right here. Welcome to the Phys Ed Summit. And that will show up in the lobby chat. Now, those of you who are familiar with using Tazel in the past, this is where we've had our back channel or our chat. Uh, and we are going to continue to do that this year and use the lobby chat for our way to discuss the Hangout uh, as it is happening or the presentation as it is happening. On the left-hand side over here, you can see all the attendees who are at the event and are in the room with you. You may view it as a grid or you may view it as a list. UnHangout does require you to have an account. You can do that by using your Facebook, your Google, or I even believe your Twitter credentials to log in. Or you can create a new account from scratch. Once you are logged in, it will put you in the lobby and you will show up on the list that I am pointing at with my mouse right here. Something to keep in mind, UnHangout is limited to only 100 participants at a time. Once 100 people are in the room, if you try to enter the room, it will give you a message that the lobby or that event is full. Uh, you will not be able to enter that room in 
real time and you will have to find a different session to attend. If other people choose to leave that room, spots will open up. And of course, all of our Phys Ed Summit conference sessions are archived on our YouTube page and you can view them on demand at any time at a later date. But it is something to keep in mind that we are limited by the, the technology at hand and there can only be 100 people in the room watching at once. So now that you know that, we have our lobby right here where the chat will go. Up here in the top right will be a video that will be embedded that you will see. And that will be uh, the video of the presentation you are in the room for. So the moderator of the session, which will be someone from the Phys Ed Summit team, will be playing uh, that video and starting it at the same time. They will be telling you in the chat in the lobby when they will be starting it. As someone who is participating in the summit, I have another browser, Safari, which if you were listening earlier, I told you not to use Safari. And you shouldn't because all of the features are not available. But if I click Safari, I can see right here what it looks like and what it will look like for you since you will not be a moderator on Saturday. I see the left-hand side right here with the people in the event. I see the welcome from the moderator right here. And I can say, hi. No, that's not hi. Hi, I'm Adam from Oregon. Type it in the chat. It shows up. You can, I will also see the video here, which the moderator will be starting at the same time for everybody. Now, right now, I have a lock that says no sync. You might want to check this when you are logged into your event to participate in the Phys Ed Summit because you're going to want to lock that to make sure it is synced because when the moderator, and I will click back to my moderator, uh, video starts the session they have a button that says play for all and when they do that they will see a green button that says synced and it will start the video and the countdown right here for everybody who is in the room at the same time even if you come into a room late and it is synced you will be starting the presentation where everyone is at the current moment it will not start at the beginning the only way you can do that is by unclicking that lock and unlocking it so it is no longer synced. Now if I go over to my other browser here, you can see the video is synced. It tells me that and it's playing for all right now. I'm currently playing the video, the first ever video from Phys Edagogy's YouTube page, which was the original PE Geeks Unite Google Hangout on Air that was seven years ago. So this will not be what is playing during this summit on Saturday, uh, but I used it for our test purposes tonight. That's how we'll be watching our presentations and we'll be participating with the moderator and most likely the presenter in the back channel chat that's right here at the center of the lobby for the event that you are in. Okay, now there are a couple other really interesting features for UnHangout that I would like to discuss. So I'm going to go back over here to our uh, moderator view for the uh, UnHangout right here. And there's something you can see in the bottom right that's called breakouts. Breakouts are really interesting. And what breakouts are is they are... There are two choices here. It's going to be different depending on your moderator and they will communicate that to you in the lobby chat. The moderator may propose some breakouts and you can see some breakouts right here. There's also a feature where the moderator may choose to allow you as the participant to propose breakouts. This is pretty similar to an EdCamp if you've ever attended one. If they are user, proposed breakouts. If I am over on my Safari page, you can see the breakouts right here. You have the ability to vote up on breakouts like, yes, after this session, I would like to talk about assessment. 
or yes, I would like to have a Q&A with the presenter. Those are things that you will have the ability to do. When the sessions are completed and the event is over, what the moderator will do is they will turn on all of the breakouts. And what they will do is you will see the, the breakouts will then become live. And so I'm going to try, oops, they're closed. I'm going to put them, oh, it looks like I, I have a technical issue right here. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click breakout mode and have them be host proposed breakouts. So it's going to delete those. I'm going to propose a breakout. And I'm going to have Q&A with the presenter. Okay, one thing you need to know about breakouts is only 10 people are allowed to be in a breakout at a time. Remember, this is something that will happen after your session is over. All right, I created a breakout right there, and this is what I was looking for, this little line right here, because that's going to show you who's in the breakout. And as someone who's participating in an event, you're going to see that show up. If that's a breakout you want to participate in, all you need to do is click that little button right there that says join breakout. I'm not going to click that right now, but I will tell you what will happen if you do. It will take you into a video chat room, much like a Zoom call or a WebEx call, and you will be able to see all the people who are in that room and you can have a video breakout session where you can talk face to face with people via video chat. It's a pretty cool feature. Now, one of the things that has made the Phys Ed Summit unique in the past were these roundtable discussions we've had. This is kind of like that. After a session is over and you've watched the YouTube video as a attendee, you've participated in the lobby chat, the moderator may open these breakouts and you will have a chance to keep the conversation going in a breakout session if you want. It's completely optional. It's not something that you have to do. It is there as a choice. And it is a new feature we're excited about. And one of the reasons we chose on Hangout, we haven't tested it on a large scale yet, so we hope it works as advertised. So that's pretty much it for UnHangout and how our event for the Phys Ed Summit 2020 will work. Uh, if you want more reading for how to participate in UnHangout, there will be a blog post that is being pushed out uh, tonight uh, on, that will explain and give you a Google slide presentation that will explain how to use UnHangout further. As always, please check our FAQ on the Phys Ed Summit. And if you have any additional questions that are not answered, please email us at physedagogy at gmail.com. We are super excited for the Phys Ed Summit 2020. It is under 72 hours away, May 9th, starting at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. We can't wait to see you there and to participate and learn together. Until then, be safe, be healthy, and we will see you all on Saturday.